Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we're going to have a little snack time and chat time. Uh, just kind of like a life update, what's been going on with me, just so we can hang out. Also, so I can eat, because I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, so, I got up a bunch of I think they're called like sweet snacking peppers. We've got yellow, red, and orange. And I'm gonna use those as like chips to dip into some hummus. This is roasted red pepper hummus made with mm, custom, uh, I don't know, oil blend, whatever. I don't know. I just have been really craving uh, hummus and I didn't want to eat chips so I was like, well, let me get some peppers. Have you ever had hummus before? I had it for the first time, like, I think last year and I absolutely I'm like, I want to mix this in. I'm like, why was I so scared of hummus before? Like, and I think the reason that I had it last year was because on like New Year's Day or something, somebody had mentioned like, is there something that you have never eaten before that you wanted to try? And I think hummus was on that list for me. And so I tried hummus and it was And I like this because it's almost like spicy and like refried beans or something. I don't know. It's really, really good. And with these peppers, it's really good. I like the, the crunch. So you should get a snack or lunch or breakfast or dinner, whatever time you're reading this, so that we can hang out together. So, what's been going on? Well, I wanted to tell you about a situation that happened to me a couple months ago. Um, because it was like a really, really bad time. And I had mentioned that I was having a rough time. And I wanted to tell you about, about it. But I wasn't ready to talk about it yet. Because things weren't better. <laughs> but in January, I got into a car accident. That was not my fault. And it was like so stressful and like I just had so many emotions and I was just, you know, so let me tell you what happened. Okay, so my husband had an appointment, uh, so we were going to this appointment. We only have one car, um, because my husband, uh, usually has, like, company vehicles and stuff, you know, so we've only ever needed one car, right? Uh, well, so I was going to take my husband to this appointment after we dropped the kids off at school, and because of the appointment, I didn't bring Ava. <clears throat> Which I usually bring Ava everywhere. Unless I'm going shopping because they, they don't really like, 
you know, animals in stores and stuff. And she would get so excited. She would just pee throughout the whole store. <laughs> anyway. So we left Ava at home that day. Thank God. <sighs> anyway. And it was raining. Like, it was just a bad day. Okay, it was pitch black. Raining. It was 7.53. And I know because my husband had an appointment at 8 o'clock. We made it to our appointment. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> so, we dropped the kids off. And we're driving <clears throat> on a highway that intersects with a freeway. And so you have to, like, uh, like turn to the right. And there's a yield sign. And you have to yield for traffic coming this way, right? So it's raining and awful. And me and my husband were pulling up to where you yield. And people were just... Whew, you know, and I'm just like, you would think that people would drive slower or more safer when it rains because it was like a bad rain, like really heavy, awful rain. Because I almost got into an accident because somebody cut me off, you know, and I was like, oh, why are people so stupid, you know, and I drive like an 80 year old grandma because I like being safe. I don't care. I've always, I've always driven very, very safe. I've never been one of those, you know, stupid teenage drivers or whatever. Anyway, so I had just said something about that. We come to the, the yield, you know, which means, you know, you have to stop for oncoming traffic, right? So I'm pulling up and I'm yielding for the other people and I can see this car behind me but I'm like see me see me see me you know because I'm looking like this but I can see the headlights so bright coming in closer to the rear view mirror you know and I look up and I'm like see me see me and I'm like oh no because they they weren't even looking they were on their phone and they did not see me and they were going about 45 and I'm stopped, and they hit me, slammed straight into the back of my car, completely, like, just totaled it, okay? And because me and my husband were both looking like this, when it hit, like, it, it really hurt my husband's, oh, hold on, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Okay. It really hurt my husband's neck and shoulders because he was like facing this way. And then, because he didn't see the car behind us, I saw it because of the rear view. So, my husband, immediate, immediate rage. <laughs> immediate. And I was just like panicking, like shaking, like, oh my God. And there was a gas station right there, so I immediately just pulled forward to the gas station because I didn't want to be in anyone's way, you know. And I pulled up to a pump, and I'm like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Because it was, it was pretty bad, you know. Um, and I was like, where's the guy that hit us? Because, like, we couldn't see him. Well, he had come around and parked on the other side of the pumps uh thank god thank god he did that um because he could have just drove off right he did but i get out and i'm like what the f what the f what the f and i'm just like shaking you know and my husband gets out and he looks at the the car and he's just screaming like f <laughs> you know, because it's real bad, um, because we had, like, a, I don't know if they're called hatchbacks, but where the door opens up in the back, like that, you know, that whole door was crushed in, and, like, folded in on itself, 
and like so there would and it wouldn't close <laughs> like at all you know and I'm just like oh my god it's awful and the guy gets out and he has his phone in his hand because he was on his freaking phone and he's like I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I'm and I'm I'm still in shock and I'm just saying what the f what the f you know and I I was just like what did you do and I guess he didn't like the way that I said that because he was like I just said I was sorry and like he started yelling at me and I'm like do you see my car I'm sorry does not fix it <laughs> you know what I mean but I was in panic mode so I was just, I was just like Ugh, pointing at my car and I'm like where's your car and I see it not even a scratch he was driving this jeep and he had one of those like roll metal bars on it so there was not even a scratch not even nothing on the metal bar okay I'm like I need a car with a metal bar like that on the front and the back But I just looked at his car and I started laughing because I'm like, of course, of course, nothing happened to your car. I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because I've never been in like a, a major accident like that, you know? And I was like, we, we needed to get this appointment. And I was just, I was in panic mode and I was just shaking and I, I didn't know what to do. And my husband's like, get his insurance. So I'm like, okay. So I took pictures of his car, of our car. Uh, I took pictures of his insurance information. And as this is happening, a kid gets out of his back seat. And I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Because I, I didn't know there was a kid back there, you know? And he was probably like, five maybe he crawled out of a car seat okay and I was like oh my god are you okay and he was just like dad dad what's going on and his dad was like shut up get back in the car and I'm like like make sure your kid is okay right the kid seemed to be okay to me though so I'm just like I don't know and the whole back bumper is completely off like, I don't know how I got from that yield sign to the gas station without it falling off. I think maybe when I stopped the car, it just snapped off. Because I'm just like, what do we do with this? Like, you know, I, I just, I didn't know what to do. And everything was happening so fast. And we had to get to the appointment. And anyway. So... The guy was like, I've got like bungee tie thingies, you know? So he just gave us bungee tie thingies because he was just like, here, I don't know, take this. And so my husband literally like tied the bungee cord deal to the car. And I'm like, okay, we got all everything that we needed, you know? Um, it didn't, it didn't need like, we didn't need to call the police or anything like that, that we didn't need that. Um, but I was just like, okay, we have to go, we have to go. <laughs> we made it to the appointment. But I was terrified the whole time. Because it's still pouring down. Crazy. And the whole back half of our car, all the lights are on inside the car. Because they won't turn off, because the door won't shut. Um... And it's like so caved in that rain was getting into my vehicle and I could like hear the freeway because it's as though you're driving with your doors open, right? So it was like real scary and loud and like my blinkers didn't work because he smashed into the whole back half and I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we made it to the appointment and then my husband had to go to work so I had to drop him off at work which is like I don't even know maybe 30 miles 
in the opposite direction. As it's pouring down, I'm just like, oh my god. Because at this time, my husband was in a different department. And so he didn't have a company vehicle. He does now. But he didn't have it at that time. So I had to take him to work. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to pick you up. Because this car ain't going to make it. Halfway there, the, the whole bumper part that my husband had tied on with the thing came off and it was just dragging down the freeway and I was just like oh, we can't I was like what do we do I was like you have to fix this so we pulled over on the freeway and my husband has to get out there to try and tie this thing again I was like are you getting it are you getting it and he's like calm down <laughs> it was so crazy and I had uh when my husband was in the meeting I had called my insurance and I gave them the other people's insurance stuff and I had done all that and then I called my mom because it doesn't matter how old I am I still need my mom because I don't know what to do I had never been in an accident like that before and I was just like ugh and I was like the whole back is gone and like I was just freaking out and she's like okay can you can you still drive it and I'm like yeah but the whole thing is open and like the taillights and stuff don't work whatever she's like okay just be very very careful if you can make it home to my parents house and she's like just be very very careful so I went very slow um but I did make it to my parents house and my dad meets me outside by this time it had stopped raining and he was just like oh my god oh my god because it was real, real bad. I had gotten into an accident that was just, like, I hit the front of my car. And it wasn't that bad. I thought it was bad at the time, but it wasn't. And, uh, my dad was able to fix it. Like, with a heat gun. Because cars are basically plastic, you know. He was able to fix it, like, no problem. It had a few chips or scratches on the paint, but that was it. I was like, whoa. So my dad was coming out. I was like, dad, you can't fix this. And he was like, nope, I can't. It was awful. Awful. And I'm just like, I'm literally just shaking. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I had already done everything that I could have done, you know. And it was just, it was so scary. It was so scary. Because I had never been in an accident like that. Never. You know, and I was just, I was just like, thank God the kids were in the car. Thank God. Because my son is very sensitive. And he would not have been able to recover from that. Like, he probably would have been traumatized for life. You know, uh, like that one accident that I was just talking about where I hit the front of my car, it really wasn't that bad. But my son, it was, he was just like, oh my gosh, I survived a car crash, mom. And it, it was like, it was not even, it was not even that bad. Because he was in the car with me with that. But if he would have been in the car with this accident, oh my gosh. He, it, it would have traumatized him for life, okay? And I'm so thankful that we did not have Ava in the car because something would have broke. Like, she would have broken bones or something, you know? She would have went through the windshield, like, I don't even know. It would have been bad. So I'm just grateful that it was just me and my husband, you know? So. Anyway. That, to get through all the insurance and stuff, was so terrible. It was the worst experience of my life. Because this guy didn't have, like... Because we have USAA because we're uh, retired military you know, um, and veteran, 
I'm not retired military. He, my husband is, but I'm, I'm a veteran. Um, so we have USA, a big company. Uh, they didn't have Progressive or Allstate or State Farm, nothing like that. They had some weird, like, cell phone... I don't, I don't even know. It, it was just like this little tiny company that was like a sub company of a sub company of a sub company. So it took my insurance people forever to be able to find out who the real company was that they paid insurance to. And it was a company I had never heard of ever. So that took a really, really long time. Like, at least two weeks. Two weeks to just get in touch with that other company. So, I didn't have a car for two weeks. Um, but my parents were very helpful. I have, like, the greatest parents in the world. They were there for me so much during this time and it was a really stressful time very very stressful uh, but my parents really stood up for me and like were so so helpful like they went above and beyond okay they were just amazing but anyway so after the whole insurance thing went down they decided the repairs were going to be too much so they were like we're just going to total the car and we're going to buy you out because to repair all that stuff it, I don't even it was way more than anything so they were like we're just going to you, you can sell us the car <clears throat> and we'll give you this amount of money. And so I was like, okay, because I was like, I don't even know how that works, you know, but they took care of everything once we got things going, you know, but it was like almost an entire month after the accident before I got the payout. It was awful. The worst experience in the most stressful time. Uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. But anyway, so they came and picked up the car for my parents' house. And when I told my dad, I was like, they're going to pick it up. They want you to take the tags off. They want the keys in the glove box and stuff like that. Um, he was like, okay. And so he was like looking at my car because my dad is a mechanic and he, um, he fixes up, you know, some people's cars or, you know, I don't know. He just does a bunch of stuff with cars. Right. And so I was like, they're, they're just going to buy it out and they're going to go pick it up. And he was like, okay. And so he starts cleaning out the car and I was like, well, we don't need this. This is trash. They can do it with this trash or like whatever, you know, and I got the stuff that I wanted to get out of the car. Uh, but my dad was like taking everything <laughs> and he was like, what about that car battery? Does it still work? And I'm like, well, yeah, that I didn't hit anything in the front. It was just the entire back. I was like, I got a, I got a car on the back property. It needs a new battery. I'm just going to take this one. And I'm like, well, replace it at least, you know, like, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, and then he starts, like, looking at the tires. And he was like, I like those car hand those door handles. I could use that on another car. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> my dad's trying to, like, chop this car up, you know. And he's like, they won't know. They won't know if that handle was missing and stuff. I was like, dad, please don't get me in trouble. <laughs> I was like, we sent them pictures, like, you know, it was just funny. I don't know if he, I know that he did switch the batteries out, but I don't know if he took the handles off the car. <laughs> My dad is a hoarder. He 
he will never throw away anything because you never know when you might need that. So who knows what else he took off of my car. I don't know. Anyway, so after we got the payout, um, I was like, okay, well, we got to get a new car because we can't not have a car, right? So we did eventually. Uh, I think it was at the end of February where we got a new car. And this car, like, okay, let me tell you the car buying situation, okay? So, we don't, like, the last car that I had, we didn't buy it brand new. We bought it used, and we, 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 there's this foreign place, you know, where I'm from, and I saw it on uh, cars.com or whatever, but it was at the Ford dealership, so I was like, Okay, so I called the Ford dealership. I was like, it's still there. And they're like, yeah, come look at it. You know, so we go up there. I always take my dad, you know, because he, he's a mechanic and he knows how to do stuff like that. He can just turn a car on and know immediately, this is good. This is crap. So when we bought that car, the one that got totaled, um, you know, we got a really great deal on it. And he was like, this is a good car. Uh, the mileage is low, so buy it. We bought it, and then we left. It was so fast and easy. So I was thinking it was going to go like that. So I was looking at cars online, and I saw some cars. And I was like, Dad, let's go look at cars. So my dad takes me to this car dealership. And I was like, yeah, I saw this car online. Uh, I want to look at it. Let's, let's, let's check this out. And so the car dealership guy is like, well, let's just see if it's here. And so he checks and he's like, we don't have a car like that. And I was like, well, I have the, the whatever number, you know? And so he types and he was like, oh, that's not at this car dealership. And I was like, but it, it says it on the website. He's like, well, yeah, but this website is for just this dealership. That website is for all the dealerships that are connected to this one. I went, what the hell? I'm like, okay. Well, let's look at the other car that I was talking about. And we looked it up and he was like, oh, this actually sold like three days ago. And I was like, but it's right there. It's right there on the website. We're looking at it together. And he was like, yeah, it takes about five days for it to come off of the website after someone buys it. And I'm like, oh, what? Okay. So I was like, all right, well, those are the only two cars. Because I wanted to pay for the car just straight out. Like, I don't want no car payment. None of that, you know. So, I was like, well, that, those were the only two cars, so I guess we'll go to the other car dealership. So, my, me and my dad drove down the street to another car dealership. And I was like, okay, I saw this car online. Is it here? The guy looks it up, he was like, yep, yeah, it's here. And I'm like, okay, well, let's test drive it. So, he's like, okay, I'll be right back. So he grabs the keys, goes and gets the car, and brings it to the front. And so we see it. My dad checks it out. Um, he's like, yes, my dad test drives it. I'm not going to test drive it because of my dad. He'll know. You know, we test drive it. And he's driving. He's like, okay, yeah, this is a good car. And I was like, because it looked nicer in real life than it did online. And I was like, well, okay. And so I was like, Dad, are you sure? Are you sure? And he's like, yeah, this is, this is a good car. So we go back in and we're about to start paperwork and um, we're talking price or whatever. And I have the keys in my hand. And this other guy walks up and he's like, can I see those keys? I went, yeah, sure. And I handed it to him, and he's like, this car's just been sold. And then he walks off, and I said, what the hell? What? And he's like, yeah, it's been sold. And I look at our car dealership guy, car salesman, whatever, and I'm like, what the, what the hell? And he was like, this can't be, you know, I'm a good salesman, and I would never have you, blah, blah, blah. And I look over the guy, and he's like, yeah, man, we just sold this car. And I'm like, 
why the hell did we go on a test drive if this car was already sold and like blah 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 they literally took the keys out of my hand as I was sitting down to do the paperwork to buy this car what so I'm like okay what the hell and so me and my dad are just looking at each other just dumbfounded like are you freaking kidding me what so I was like okay there's one more dealership let's go let's look at this car so we go to the dealership and they're like oh we walk in because it's this place called planet ford and there are three dealerships in one so we show up at the lincoln one because they said it's at the lincoln so we show up at the planet ford lincoln and they're like yeah that car's not here it's over there and i'm like can i just walk over there like how far is it and they're like yeah, you can maybe walk over there so we walk over there and you know i can't walk okay and I'm like, okay, we walk over there, but then we have to walk down there, and we get down there, and I was like, that's too far. And the guy's like, well, sorry, you said you wanted to walk. And I was like, I have walking difficulties. I'm not trying to be a difficult person. I just, you said it was right there. <laughs> it is not. But I was like, whatever. So me and my dad drive over to the dealership because there's no way that I can walk that far. And I'm like, okay, is the car here? Because I just dealt with some stuff that was really messed up. And they're like, yes, yes, the car is here. Um, we'll have the car salesman meet you. Have you go look at the car. So the car salesman comes over and I'm like, the car is here, right? And he's like, yes, the car is here. And we have to walk to this other building so that he can get the key, you know? And as this is happening, I'm explaining the story of what just happened to us. And he was like, wow, that's crazy, huh? He's not listening. Anyway, so he's like, okay, just wait right here. So me and my dad are waiting and waiting. And I'm like, I swear to God, if they say this car's not here, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. And then we're waiting and waiting. And I'm like, I'm not even going to have time to look at this car because I got to pick up the kids and, you know, like what is going on so he finally comes back out and he was like okay so the car is here and i'm like yeah he's like but the keys aren't and i'm like what what <laughs> i'm like how can this be and he said well we actually just got this car like last night or the night before and the car um salesman who in took that car must have taken the keys with him because they're not here and I'm like well where's this guy and they're like well he's off and I'm like Ugh. I was like okay I don't have time for this he's like well you can still look at the car and I was like no I need the keys here because he needs to hear the engine I was like it'd be pointless for me to look at the car when I can't even get in it you know I was like so can you please call me to let me know when those keys get here so that I can come here because I don't want the car to already be gone. You know what I mean? So he was like, yes, I'll call you. He calls me like at seven o'clock that night. And I'm like, dude, I can't come up here at seven o'clock at night. Like, cause then I'd have to have my dad come get me. And then we go up there. Like, I was just like, no, I didn't want to inconvenience my dad. Anyway. So the car buying situation was not good. It was awful. Eventually, though, I did find a car. Uh, and I liked it. And it was within the price range that I wanted. So I was like, okay, I want to make sure that it's actually there. So I called and I was like, is the car there? And he's like, yes. And I was like, okay, how can I make sure? Because I had to pick up the kids and stuff. And I was, I asked my dad, I was like, can we go after I pick up the kids? And he was like, yeah. Uh, so I was like, how can I make sure that it's going to be there at like four o'clock? You know? And he's like, well, you would have to put money down. I was like, well, I'm not doing that. Cause I, I don't 
don't want to put any money down if I haven't seen it or heard it or anything like that, right? So I was just like, please be there, please be there. So uh, my dad took me. We looked at the car and it was like, whoa. It was like a super nice car. The pictures online don't do, don't do cars justice like at all because this was like whoa a really nice car and I was just like holy crap um so I had my dad test drive it and he was like this is good this is a good car and he was like you should you should get this car and I was like are you sure are you sure and he was like no this is a good one I was like well let's look at the other one just in case because there were two you know, and it was there, and so we, I don't remember what the other car was, but we pulled up to it, and he was like, no, he lifted the hood, the guy hadn't even turned on the car yet, we drove by it, because it was in the detail shop department, or whatever, because they had just got it, we pulled up, and my dad immediately my dad's such a little bitty tiny man. <laughs> He's so tiny. He crawled out of this car that we were in and then immediately walked up to this car and crawled underneath it. <laughs> and he was like, mm, I don't know about this. And he opens it up. He's like, something's leaking already. And the guy, the dealership guy, he's all walking around, opening all the windows and doors and everything. And he's ready to explain this car to us, right? My dad comes out from under the car and he's like, no, this is not the one. Get that one. And it's very loud because we're by the detail part. And he's all trying to explain the car. I was like, no, no. My dad says no. <laughs> he says no. It's this one. And so he's like, oh, okay. So we got that car. And it's so amazing. It's like a luxury car like whoever bought it originally oh, hold on whoever bought this car originally they had it like i don't know if it was like custom made or whatever but like they have all these extra features which is like ridiculous like they have these things that lift up from in the back seat they have these things that lift up that's an extra shade thing, which is really cool. And there's air conditioner in the back that's like movable. So the kids can either close it or open it. And which I'm like, that's really cool because it gets hot in Texas, right? So, but, and it's got the backup camera and the GPS and all that stuff. But what's really cool, which I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my God. My husband, he's gonna love this. So it has uh, leather seats, you know, and it does have heated leather seats in the back and in the front. Uh, oh, and it also has the panorama, panoramic sunroof thing, but I'm like, I don't ever want to open that. Hot. Are you crazy? I was like, I'll never open that. I could care less. Um, but anyway, it's got the heated seats. But it also has cooling seats. So you can have cold air come through the seats. And it's like, hello, it's so hot in the summer. That is going to be amazing. My husband absolutely loves it. The second he gets in the car, boom. <laughs> he loves it. And I really love it. I don't know if if I posted a picture, if I haven't, I'll post it here. It is a Hyundai, Hyundai, I don't know how you say that word, Hyundai, Hyundai, uh, Santa Fe, and it's really pretty, especially in the light, but, like, it, it's, it's almost like it's a color-changing car, depending on the light, because in some light, it's like a really pretty blue. And in some light, it's like this smoky gray color. And it's like, how does it change color like that? It's crazy. I don't know, but it's super, super cool. So I really, really like that. 
anyway ever since I got that it's like oh, <laughs> no more stress no more stress that was a very stressful time January awful February awful towards the end of February things got much better much much better but anyway so so glad that that part of my life is over uh but i was just recently on vacation i didn't go anywhere but i would i took a youtube vacation so i like recorded a bunch of videos i did have to come i did have to come back for to an easter video and um the what i've been watching because uh, i have to record that at the end of the month you know but i love recording those because i could talk about shows all day but i forgot to bring the things up here i wanted to show you so spring break i wanted to take time off so that i could be with my kids on spring break you know without having to be like shh i'm recording um because my son gets really mad about that but sometimes he's nice and he's like okay uh but anyway so i plan something to do every day during spring break um and i usually take them somewhere like to the zoo or a museum something like that um but i was just like i just don't because my husband couldn't get off and i'm just i've been very like ugh very messy lately you know and i was just like i just don't think i can do something you know so we didn't we didn't end up going anywhere like that um, but i still had stuff planned for like every day so one day we painted dragons um and i i wanted to bring them up here so that i could show you because my dragon is the coolest um, but my kids don't think so. <laughs> Maybe, uh, if I can remember in the next video, I'll show them. I don't know what I'm doing next, but if I remember, I'll, I'll show them to you in whatever video I'm doing next. Um, but yeah, so we painted dragons. We did a puzzle did a puzzle this puzzle was awful i just got it at walmart it was like a thousand piece puzzle and i thought it would be no big deal because I, I got one that had all these different things in it and i was like it'll be easy because there's so many different things in there you'll be like okay well these pieces go in this area in this area mm -mm. it took us two and a half almost three hours just to do the border just the border this puzzle had so many weird little pieces that me and my daughter separated the pieces and we would go through and pick out the ones with the straight lines but sometimes it was like so tiny and then it was like real big it was just so hard it took two and a half three hours just to get the border just the border and my son was like oh, no he he did it at the beginning and then we let him finish the border but it took like all day just for that and i was like i can't do anymore i cannot do anymore so my daughter worked on it the second day and she was like mom this puzzle is so hard and i was like you don't have to do it just screw that puzzle because <laughs> we've done puzzles before we love puzzles this puzzle it was the worst the worst puzzle I did take the kids to go see a movie, Kung Fu Panda 4. I talked about it and what I've been watching. I'm just so done with sequels and stuff like that. It's like, can we come up with something new? That would be so great to come up with something new. And then I had them make their own t-shirts. 
the year before I had them make their own t-shirts, but they like drew it out. Um, and then we would upload it and then print it out on like one of those things that you like iron on the, the shirt, you know, but my daughter wanted to do different so she could get the picture off of like Pinterest or something like that. So she, she made this, I think it's like some neon butterfly thing. And then my son did a... something with destiny it's like the final the final something it's destiny related my husband really liked that because they're really into destiny right now um and on the last day i had planned on making because i had got this kit uh it was in another video that i made where it was like the um, It was an unboxing. What is it called? It's not the Fab Fit Fun. It's, um, I don't know. Silver Swag. Silver Swag. I was like, it's an old person thing. <laughs> um, there was this make your own pizza, you know, but you like make it from a scratch and stuff. And so I was like, oh, we could have like a make our own pizza day. We could have pizza for lunch or dinner or whatever you guys want to do. Because my son really likes cooking, you know, and my daughter she likes cooking when it's like a family thing, you know, uh, or like when she gets to write recipes down and stuff like that. So that last day she was like, what's the activity for today? And I was like, it's the make your own pizza deal. And she was like, oh, I was like, do you not want to do that? And she's like, not really. I was like, okay, do you want me to just order Domino's or something? She was like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So her and my son, they decided that last day was going to be a fort day. So we got all the chairs and stuff in the living room and I put blankets everywhere and I made like this massive fort and they just stayed in the fort all day and played games, played on their tablet. Like even Ava went into the fort, you know, and they had their lunch and um, they just played together all day and my son was so happy he was like today's the best day and I was like why he's like because me and Emma are bonding we never bond she's always so mean <laughs> he was so happy because she would be nice to him I just thought it was funny so I was like okay let's not make a pizza let's have fun they're bonding whatever so that's what they did the last day they liked it uh, but anyway, it was nice to take off. It was about nine, nine days that I didn't have to record anything. And like, I enjoy making videos and stuff, but sometimes I need a break. <laughs> Cause I get really drained and stuff, you know? And like, I don't know, my MS has been like, not nice to me lately. Like, I have been having vision problems. I went blind um, in my right eye for quite some time. Uh, it was just... And that was just, like, two weeks ago. It was hard, you know? So it was nice to take off for a little bit. Um... But the kids are back in school, you know, so back to the schedule. Um, but yeah, I have been trying to eat a little bit better. Um, uh, just because somebody sent me, um, one of my YouTube friends told me about this woman. I can't remember her name or whatever. And she had MS and she cured herself she didn't actually cure herself she just got better like symptom free with food that she ate and stuff like that um and i had actually already watched that and i tried that i don't know if it was the last summer or maybe the summer before i can't remember but 
it was really hard to try and eat that clean, you know, and, uh, I didn't stick with it, you know, but I had been having a lot of symptoms and stuff and I was like, you know, I need to try this again because I want to give myself the best chance possible um, because my medicine just really isn't working like at all. Uh, so I was like, well, let me try and eat more clean and, you know, stuff like that. And so I have been trying it and it's really hard because I want to eat that pizza, you know, or I want to eat and like, I'm gonna, you know, like, I, I'm not going to be so strict. So like, birthdays or holidays if I want to eat my mom's potato salad I'm gonna eat that potato salad but then the next day I'm gonna have a salad you know what I mean like and I don't eat meat so that's supposedly very good as well um but like for my daughter's birthday she wants a cheesecake I'm gonna have that cheesecake I'm not gonna eat the whole cheesecake but I'm gonna have a piece and then I'm going to have apples. You know what I mean? Like, I just tried to be too strict with it that one year. And I'm like, I think the more strict you are, the harder it is. But if you slowly start making better choices, and if you slip on something like a cheesecake, well, don't be like, well, that's it. It's over. I sucked and I failed at this. So I'm just going to eat whatever I want now. No. Just make better choices and maybe eventually the food will help me I don't know because I have heard that the whole food like fruit vegetable greens that kind of stuff it it does help your body and it it like rebuilds the myelin and myelin I don't know what it's called in the brain um and reduce the scarring and stuff. I've been trying it. And I really like a lot of the stuff that I've been making. Like, my mom makes this cabbage for New Year's Day. It's just cabbage and carrots. And I was like, you know, I really like that and I want that. But I, So I made it, like, into a soup. So I got, like, this, um... I got some olive oil and some red onion because I like red onion better than like yellow or white um, and I sauteed those and then I added the carrots cooked those up and then I put vegetable broth in there celery and cabbage like a whole head of cabbage and I cooked it up and I had my lunch for like a whole week it's just this cabbage soup thing <sighs> was so good so good I'm like just thinking about it I would like that again it was so good and like I asked my husband I was like you want to try this he was like mm, I don't know <laughs> because he I don't know I don't think he really cares about being healthy right now <laughs> he was like mm. and I was like just try it and he took a bite and he was like oh my god that is the greatest thing I ever had. Oh, because I also put red pepper flakes in there because I like things a little spicy. And he was like, that is so good. So good. I was like, what well, do you want more? He was like, no, because you made that for your lunch, whatever. But I've been eating a little differently than everyone else. So they've, like, I still cook the same things for my kids and stuff. And I try and give them the things that I've been eating, but they're just like, mm, nah, you know. Uh, but my husband, I think he likes it because now I can buy him other things like TV dinners and stuff because we don't normally eat that kind of thing, you know, um, or he'll eat what the kids are having or whatever, you know, but he, he's been liking it because he gets to have his own thing and like, I don't know. So probably in the next like empties video. It'll be a bunch of stuff that he has eaten, and I'll let you know what he thinks about it. But, uh, anyway, 
he does eat some of the stuff that I like, but I don't know. Anyway, so... And it's like the cleaner that I eat, things are becoming more like flavorful, which is kind of cool. <sighs> but anyway, so let's hope that it helps because I'm not liking stuff, you know, especially that I have to uh, use my cane to walk everywhere now, basically. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Unless I have my husband to hang on to. And I don't use the cane. But anyway, so that's pretty much all that's really been going on with me. I just really wanted to share that car wreck thing. And there is some stuff that I think I'm going to save for neighborhood gossip. Because me and Redshirt had a very interesting conversation about my car accident. <laughs> but I'll save that for the next neighborhood gossip. I don't know when that's going to be. So anyway. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.